shop is Sears. I have to come in here and return this clothing before they go out of business. Uh, why am I seeing weird signs on the door? Uh, do you see them weird signs on the door? Okay, Are they already out of business? Y'all, what in the world? I don't even think I really need an alarm clock. You just turn on that Keurig at 9 a.m. or whatever time I need to get up on certain days, and it's like, I'm up. Who made this coffee? Someone put their foot in this coffee. It's pretty good. Morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Hope everybody had an awesome Saturday. Today, I think it's January 4th. Is today January 4th? Did I get the day right? Nope, it's January 5th. Look, between Christmas and New Year's, it's like, I don't know what day it is and what I'm supposed to be doing. I do not know. But a kind soul gave me a gift card for late Christmas, early birthday kind of thing. So now that I have some money, I'm going to go shopping today. But I'm going to get stuff that I need for my trip. Like I know I need some soap. And what else do I need besides soap? That was the main thing. I had a whole list though. I don't know. But I'm going to go get some, you know, some little stuff that I need for my trip. I'm not going to go spend that $100. I'm not going to go spend that really nice gift card on a bunch of Taco Bell and stuff like that. I'm going to go get stuff that I need. And then I'm going to come home. That's what we're And gonna finally in this car, I said I wanted to leave by 9.45. It's like 9.50. The first place I want to go is the Chick-fil-A. Because I have not been to Chick-fil-A getting their breakfast in months. And I have five bucks on my little Chick-fil-A card. So we're going to go. Prepare my order. Alright, I'm sorry. I'll wait. And then my other friend, Kyra. Like, she said she wanted to hang before I left next week. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. So I'm trying to debate whether she wants to come run errands with me. Hey. I can pick you up between 10.30 and 11. See, last minute plans, aren't they the funnest? I love these little designated express pickup, like car spots, cause I don't even need to get out of this car. And a nice little Chick-fil-A employee is gonna bring my food to me, like, I love Chick-fil-A. Can't have 90% of the stuff on the menu, but you know what, I still love them. And I need Kyra to let me know if I'm picking her up between 10 30 and 11 or am I just going to continue on my errands and I got to run all the way back home because I left my Sears bag right on my dresser need to take something back home <sighs> I knew I was going to leave that bag too I told myself don't leave that bag and I sure did walk out without that bag <sighs> I don't feel like going home Alexis, yeah. Here you go, man. Thank you. My pleasure. Enjoy your meal. You too. I'm sorry. Whew. Awkwardness will never end. You too. Enjoy your meal too. <sighs> Tell you, I'm moving. So I just went back into my house to grab that Sears bag, and turns out my friend Kyra says she will come with me, which is awesome. So yeah, I have to. So yeah, I'm gonna go pick her up and then our first stop is to my old job. Yes, I like going in and uh, visiting my old coworkers whenever I'm home. Plus, you know, free samples. <laughs> and I get big samples because they remember me. All right, did it say left or right? Thank you, because I forgot just that fast. Yay, a, a, a police car, woohoo. Maybe I shouldn't let them see me working with a camera and driving. All right, but why is there a police car right there? Because of this lovely church up here, like, having their revival services or whatever it is, it's like, whew, dang it. It's interesting how Cairo literally lives up the street from me. That is so crazy. I'm not used to this. It's like friends that I went to Salisbury with across the bridge live up the street from me. I don't know why that's so interesting to me. But, y'all, something else that's interesting, there's this grad program that I'm looking at. I know it's like a little bit early to be thinking about grad school, but it's like, yeah, I'm thinking about grad school. And this is a really good program that I found at this school in Alabama. And 
it's a it's a good program but I was talking to the admissions counselor about it and he said three to four students get accepted per semester and I was like three to four students per semester so I crossed it off of my list because I was like that's a little bit too competitive for me but I don't know I may change my mind I have about 30 schools on my list that I'm looking at and it's kind of like I need to really weed this down to five or less schools and at least one school needs to be in state and it's just this is a whole process am I parked in front of the right house this is this is her house hello come out it seems like whenever I'm picking up people they never come out on time hello <laughs> Color. or not but y'all yeah. if you found like a really good grad program at a school but the school accepts like three to four people in, into that program per semester would you even apply because it's like I don't know if I'm that good I mean I don't know it's a lot of thought and I'm hoping I can go to grad school I mean I may end up taking a gap year we shall see hello is this the right house oh my geez i hope i'm in front of the right i have to be in front of the right house i mean i have to be and y'all see i put some brows on yeah i put some brows on yeah okay she's coming out now all right let me turn this on look kyra's with me she's Hi. doing yep she's doing she's running errands with me today our first stop is bj's and for those of y'all that don't know, I used to work here sometime back in the day. I was the sample lady. I used to give you your free samples. Uh, couldn't wait to leave that job, but you know what? I still got some good coworkers in here that I'm going to go greet. Y'all, look, we ran into unicorn Pop-Tarts. Would y'all try these? Like, I'm going to put a poll. Like, would y'all try unicorn Pop-Tarts? I'm a no. And Kyra, did you say no? Yes, I'm a no. Okay, so you got two no's. So, like, would y'all try this? Because no. And I can show y'all why. I was just telling Kyra. This is why. What's that label? I just had my hands on it. That's why high fructose nope. corn syrup is not, it's not, there we go, that is why. I can't do the high fructose corn syrup, but you know, would y'all try it? TV goals, y'all. Oh, look, 379. I, I, I might be a. I already have a little TV, I got it for Christmas. It's, it's about this size. <laughs> I'm thankful for it though, but it's like this looks good for 379. It's not bad. I might be able to afford that. Look, these are even 319. And look how good that looks over there. I don't know why I'm looking at TVs. I, I'm supposed to be saving money, not walking out with TVs. Is Sears? I have to come in here and return this clothing before they go out of business. Uh, why am I seeing weird signs on the door? Uh, Howard, do you see them weird signs on the door? Okay, let's. Are they already out of business? Oh, never mind, never mind. Oh, they're not out of business yet. Oh, you're right, say no. Come on, I need like my 10 bucks back. Oh my goodness, y'all. They legit out of business. Oh my gosh. Dang. Y'all. What in the world? I was just joking about that. <laughs> I was just joking about I needed to hurry up and get in here and return this before they go out of business. They are gone. They're legit gone. Whoa. They're gone. Like. Yeah, no. Not too long ago, my parents bought like a refrigerator and a freaking um, dryer. They're gone. From there, from yeah, there. they're gone. <laughs> they are gone. They got stuff over there though. That's the only. I, I see that. You may. You probably be able to return it. I guess so. There. Dang, they're gone. I'm not no, over the this. Electronics, the electronics were over there. Dang, 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 dang. Wait a minute. Am I allowed to? Return stuff, points offered. I didn't think they were legit closing. Like, yeah, I mean, it doesn't shock me, but dang. I'm so upset about that. Like, Sears is actually, okay, I mean, I don't know what I expected, but all right, so now we're heading to a store that's actually open, Five Alive. I need to go get some, like, just go play in the travel section, some stuff for the trip. I'm not gonna come out with anything that I didn't intend on going in here to get. Don't you let me spend a bunch of money, Kyra, I'm serious. Won't you let me spin up uh, all my money? I may. Uh, uh, we'll see. Uh, uh. All right, so I got Kyra as my videographer. I'm going to give you all a haul of what I got from the Five Below. Uh, let's see. So this is what I went in there for, these travel containers. And I like them because they have the stickers on here as well. You see water, lotion, shampoo, all that kind of stuff. This was, oh my goodness. Maybe I should look and see. Well, how much was this? 
this was. Okay, this was three dollars. I got this uh, tablet charger because my like tablet charger is so slow because it's like sharing a charger with my iPhone, just stuff like that. So I got this. It has a little button right there for the tablet. This was five dollars. Yep. I got this soap dish. This is I didn't really go in there for this. I don't know, you know, I need, an, I need an extra soap dish, so this one is not broken. It snaps really nicely, that means it's not broken. Uh, $1, $1, yep. Uh, let's see, Lysol to go, because you always got to Lysol your stuff when you go places. Um, $3, and then for another $5, I got a new pajama shirt. This thing says Nap Queen. Yes, y'all, it was 5 bucks. I can't wait to throw out my other, uh, throw out my other shirt that got dingy and stuff. That's why I don't like wearing white shirts. But yep, that's my five blow haul, and I'm about to go do some more damage because we're about to go shopping, uh, Bowie Town Center, uh, Bath and Body Works. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna go into Bath and Body Works and get anything. I don't know why, like, y'all need to have more faith in me. Like, I'm not going to get anything, right, Kyra? We'll see. I'm not gonna go we get anything. We will see. I'm not gonna go get anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fix my lip gloss, and I'm not gonna get anything. How could I forget that they have a Barnes & Noble right here? Books. Oh my goodness, we going in. Y'all like this Bible, it's so pretty. Like, look at that. That is so gorgeous. Christian Stair Bible. And, oh man, I don't want to rip these pages. Y'all, look at this large print. And look at the pictures. Y'all, this is amazing. It's so cool. Now, I wonder how much this costs. It's the Family Bible at uh, Barnes & Noble. Oh, 50 bucks. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Put that away. There we go. My favorite Bible is an NLT. It's a, uh, what is it? The, uh, the Bible that you can draw in, color in. Oh, that really? One was, that one was uh, $30. I paid for that. Oh, little compact Bibles. Look at these cute little things. Those are cute. No. Is it the whole Bible? Nope. Psalms and Proverbs. Two chapters only? Okay. No, never mind, never mind. It's a whole Bible. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's not. I lied. It's a, it starts at Matthew. It's the New Testament. That's what I'm trying to say. But from the Old Testament, they have Psalms and Proverbs. So interesting uh, lineup in here. Oh, man. You know what? Let me put this away. How much do you think this little Bible is? I'm gonna go with $8. $8, I'm gonna go with a solid $10. $6.99. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. So I did not buy any books out of Barnes & Noble. I did excellent. I didn't walk out with any books. There was a Yankee candle right there. A bath and body works over there. I did not go in there. See, I'm doing good. Like, I'm doing good. Like, I don't know why y'all didn't have faith in me. But we getting ready to uh, eat, because we're hungry. Let's see, there's a chapado. I know there's an olive garden over there. Let's see, where are we going? This is our selection, olive garden. I'm looking, at, I'm feeling like a pizza, a good pizza, or maybe like some pasta. I'm just hungry. Thank you for this, olive garden. You're amazing for your vegetarian options. I'm leaning towards this create your own pasta. I'm like, oh my goodness, that looks good. So I ended up getting this ziti. And I actually put like a lot of cheese on it because, yeah. What'd you get, Kyra? Meatballs and meat sauce with spaghetti. Mm -mm. <laughs> we about to grub. So we just got done with our Olive Garden lunch. I ate maybe five bites. That's how it is when you eat their bread and when you eat their salad. It's like I don't see how people have appetizers, desserts. I'm just like, I get full off of, I, look, I look at the food. And then <laughs> I'm not hungry anymore. Oh my goodness. But I'm dragging Kyra into, into uh, Bath and Body Works and Yankee Candle with me. I'm not buying anything. I just want to go look. Like, I don't need soy candles. Like, I don't need them. You know, at one point when I was rich, Alexis, I went and mind paying 30 bucks for a candle. But now I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Even though I'm looking at a calm and quiet place, like, I think I may go with that. And I'm looking at this lavender, like, I may want to burn that at nighttime. I don't, I don't know how much... At least a small one. The lady said on Friday, candles and scents are not good. I know that. It's the soy candles I'm, I'm trying to stick with, but how how come they not putting prices on this thing? Because they know I can't afford it. 
I'm saying, y'all should be just totally proud of me because I didn't get anything out of Yankee Candle, no candles, not even the soy candles. I'm just saying. See, now I'm gonna just go look in back and buy yours. I'm not gonna get anything. I don't care that it says a big 75% off sign in the front. Like, I am not thinking about that. Thank you. I'm not thinking about that at all. This is how they get me. This is how they get me to 75% off. See, oh my goodness, I'm, ooh, sparkles, <sighs> candles. I just don't need any of this, but I'm getting it. Buy three, get three free. Oh, three, get free, oh my goodness. What is that? I don't know, I don't even know what it is. It just says water. Mineral body polish? Oh my goodness. See, I'm gonna go broke in this store. Luckily, I have a gift card. I can go as I want to. A few things out of Bath and Body Works. It was just a few. Like, look, look at this tiny little bag. It was a few things. But now we're about to go into this shoe store. If I find like a good price, I may get something. Now I know they have a pay lesson here. That's a little bit more my budget. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just know I've seen it. I'm not sure where it is. But yep, because I actually need a pair of running shoes. Not that I've been doing much running lately, but you know, sometimes I want to do some exercise and I don't want my feet to you know, tear apart. Like Converse, oh my goodness, they are so cute, but this is not what you walk for long distances in. And they told us like when we get to Dublin, like that is a walking town. So yeah, I may need to pick something up. All right. I know I saw a playlist. I'm in Champion. Oh my goodness, I'm in Payless trying to debate if I want to get this Champion or these Champions. I just need a new pair of exercise shoes, something I can walk in. Oh, and those are cute too. Hmm. Mm. Just, uh, I'm noticing all these signs after the fact. I'm telling you, I went in here and I was shook. Oh, I, I'm just, I'm not over that. But all right, into another shoe store. Hey, okay, so I am home. It is five o'clock on the dot. I got home at five o'clock. All right. Uh, Kyra and I just kept popping into different stores, window shopping, and then I went over her house for a little bit and we were you know chit chatting and now I'm here and this room is a mess I mean it's not a mess mess but it's just clutter like it's mainly because I'm getting packed like this is how far I've gotten along I gotta put those shoes in there I got this bag that's one of my carry-ons and then I'm taking my backpack so it's just I don't know it's not messy messy but it feels more cluttered than what I would like it to be mainly because I'm just trying to pack and I just I'm adding more stuff to this room because let me see did I show y'all what shoes I got I don't think I showed y'all what shoes I got and I need to show you what soaps I got from that Bath and Body Works it gets me every time those sales I'm talking about some 75% off I'm like oh my gosh all right little mini haul all right so let's start with my shoes I got a pair of shoes because I was doing some exercise yesterday and I was walking around the neighborhood and these shoes let me show you these shoes like these rocket dogs and they hurt my feet like I was like oh my goodness plus uh, I just kind of grew out of these like I don't even know what the unicorn is drinking right there like what is the unicorn drinking like hashtag swag like it's just it, you know it was a time it was a time of my life when I would have enjoyed this but it's like what are they saying brainwashed french fries like and what does that mean I don't know what that means. But all right, I'm gonna clean those shoes up and donate them to the Goodwill. And these are my new shoes. These are Champions. Damn. Look at these. Now these are gorgeous. Uh, it was a sale at Payless today. Everything was 40% off, so these were $25. And that's my price. And they're coming with me to Ireland. So actually, I gotta trade out. I'm gonna trade out this. I don't wanna take like a whole bunch of pairs of shoes with me. To Ireland so it's like let me trade out those shoes for my new shoes that I got and then Bath and Body Works I got three soaps I almost got six but I was like no I will do the three I'll do the two for buy two get one free is what I'm trying to say so I bought in the stars uh star flower whatever that is sandalwood musk sugar tangela white agar wood radiant amber all right, it sounds like it's gonna smell like a tree. I got Rose and Lovely Dreamer. So two of these are going into my storage. The other one's coming with me overseas because I needed some soap. 
let's see, oh man, what didn't I get out of five below? Oh my goodness, I showed y'all that, I showed y'all that, I showed y'all that. I actually had to go back into the five below. I think that's in my purse, because I needed to get another cord. I went and got the block for the tablet charger, but I didn't get another cord, so I went back in there to get another cord. And let's see, a palm olive soap, that's what I went into the Dollar Tree to get. Walked out with some bubble bath, did not go in there to get that. And what else? What else? What else? What else? That's pretty much it. I had a gift card that I spent everything on it. Shout out to my shout out to my friend who got me that gift card. Thank you, because I sure did spend it today. But all right, y'all. I actually have a lot of homework to do. It's like this winter class is kicking my behind. I'm taking a marketing 330, and I have to outline this chapter, and then I have. To Oh man, this is out of focus. I have to outline this chapter. I have to do a quiz. I have to do discussion boards. I have two projects that are due in a few weeks. And it's just kind of like, I cannot believe that they are actually, I don't know. I feel like if it's a winter class and it's four weeks, like we should kind of like change it around so that it's not like a 15 week like, it's not, like, 15 weeks of stuff we gotta learn in three weeks. It's like, can we at least get rid of those projects? Like, come on. Like, come on. I don't know, but I gotta get it done, so we'll see what happens. But, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs this video up. I will talk to y'all another day. Bye-bye.